Hi there, Scissorin here with another video, and this time I am going to talk about the uh, Uncharted Realm and a like kind of update on all the um, the skill tree because our Atlas has a skill tree now. Um, imagine coming back and the Atlas has a skill tree, as if the normal one wasn't big enough. But let's just start talking about the Uncharted Realm. What is it, and how do you get it? So you get this whenever you've done one of the special imitations. That means that you have to kill either the four Shaper Guardians, four Elder Guardians, uh, Breach Lords. Uh, or, you know, the the feared, which is Cortex, Teula, Alluring Abyss, Shaper's Realm, and Absence. Um, and that's how you unlock it. Um, killing the Maven gives you two points, but does not unlock it. Why? It's so weird. It makes no sense. Of course that should unlock it as well. Uh, in fact, that should be the thing that unlocks it, in my opinion. It's very strange to me. And I hope that gets changed. Uh, either way, in difficulty, the Elder Guardians is the easiest, then the Shaper Guardians. I haven't done the uh, Synthesis Guardians. But the Twisted Distant Memory is so scared um, that I'm scared of it. Uh, and then Breach Swords is the second hardest. And obviously the Feared is the hardest. I did do this on Standard. We'll probably upload that as a video so you can see how I did it. I, I had two deaths. And here you have some really, really nice things. And this is also the biggest reason to use your Respec Orbs, the Orb of Unmaking. So let's talk a little bit about it. There's some really strong things here. So we have some cool things here. Like uh, here, they're joined by an ally. So that means if you're doing Chimera, Phoenix can come and join. And then you're fighting... Phoenix and Chimera. This basically doubles the amount of fragments you're getting because they very, very often will drop the uh, fragments. This one is one of the most important ones to talk about because it's the Elder has a 10% chance to drop a Watcher's Eye and Shaper drops three additional items. Now, especially for SSF, what that means is that I'm saving up like at least five sets, sometimes 10 sets, and then respecking into this and then doing it. I don't keep this permanently because I'm not just farming Elder permanently. So I'm doing these in batches and respecking in and out of it. Uh, this one's pretty nice to have because I do want more Elder Shaper Guardian maps. But the number one thing that you want to use your first four points on um, is getting Path Not Taken. Now, what this does is it doubles the amount of maps that can appear in Zana. So you can get up to 16 maps. It's insane. Uh, it's so good. So you get like a... It's like this big now, the window of maps. And that means that you're getting way more, like you're getting way more Cortex... You're getting way more uh, Elder, Shaper Guardians, etc. More unique maps if you want that. And there's another thing that's Sleeper OP. Remember that Harvest was added to the Zana maps now? So I think I did seven yesterday and six of them, because I got so many maps, six of them had Complete the Harvest. So while you're farming in Haywork Hamlet, that's like a really, really good thing to do. And Haywork Hamlet's like the best place to gear up because... Amplified, Wild Fruit, and Nature's Favor are so strong. So yeah, I, I spammed. I think I had like 42 or 43 Zanas, and I've, I've been doing like loads. So I've been doing loads of Harvest, loads of like extra bosses. Actually, I didn't have that many, because I only did like seven. And I didn't get a Cortex in those seven, sadly. Now, if I was Trade League, I'd probably be very, very tempted to uh, get Vivid Memories and Synthetic Source, because Synthesized Items and Fractured Items are so strong. There's so many really good ones you can get extra flat ES on ES items or like explosion items. So they're really, really strong. The other things aren't bad either. 25% of watchstone modifiers, uh, sexton modifiers, one more use and uh, another a bigger chance for awakened support gem. That is really strong to be fair. And plus one awakening level. That means you can do Cyrus 9 now. There's no like crazy extra drops. Um, just makes him like drop a little bit more stuff and a bit harder. But you do get like one extra of all like the bonus here. So that is nice as well. But uh, definitely the main things that I want is these. Um, and then I'll think I'll probably be like experimenting a little bit if I can get more points. But it's hard to get more points on SSF Parkour. Uh, we can talk a little bit about the special watchstones as well. There are some really, really nice things on both of them. Um, the Chromium ones can get stuff like this. Orb of Alterations found in area. I have a 0.4 chance to drop a full stack. Really nice for me as SSF because I struggle on uh, alterations quite a lot. Uh, you can that also drop that as fusings. I've gotten that as fusings as well. You can get it as chaos orbs, but that's kind of a low percentage. This one I'm experimenting with. I'm trying to get more cortex. Uh, you can also get these. Randomly encountered masters in area have a 32% increased chance to be Zana. Um, and you could stack this up to 100%. So then, in theory, every time you find a Zana, it should be... Or sorry, every time you find one, it should be Zana. And here I just get one additional map option. So these are really, really good. There is another thing that's extremely good, especially for SSF that I've rolled. Unique bosses have a 24% chance to drop an additional item with a random influence. This does not need the region to be influenced. It'll just drop you 
uh, an influenced item, which is really good for uh, Soul Cell Fund where you're struggling with influenced items. It's a good way to get item level 85 ones. As I predicted, uh, this are the points that I wanted, and uh, Amplified is insane. I mean, look at my look at my deafening stash. I have so many deafenings, it's insane, and I've, I've used a lot as well. I've probably had like 30 greeds or something that I've been throwing on items. So that's really good. Turn send is absolutely insane as well. Great migration is a hoot. Whenever it spawns, it's, uh, yeah, so many red beasts. Really, really good. And I've got a bunch of good ones, like the jewel beasts. that are not had a split beast so far, but I've only had it proc twice, and I haven't run that many. I still have 37. Uh, that which you seek is nice, and probably so is greater forces, but I'm currently experimenting with exotic goods. Uh, I've only done three maps here so far, and they mostly drop silver coins, so like 15 chisels at a time. You definitely notice it is good stuff they drop, because silver coins are obviously really good, because you can... So many good prophecies you can get, like the six thing one and Trash to Treasure. My friend Tinos had, uh, he ran three maps and he got three uncorrupted six things. So the exotic goods can drop really, really good stuff. Uh, and that means whenever, if you ever roll like on a, on a normal watchstone that you can actually move around, the uh, contains an additional animation mob, just move it up here and do it here because that's been pretty nice. Clinic Cairns, I've done the incursion stuff. And then I don't know what to do with the last points. I, I would do Beyond if I was Trade League and then, you know, get a Headhunter, go Ham with Beyond. Because this, like, it's so good. It's going to be so many Beyond spawns. Uh, and I don't want to run Beyond here because, you know, fuck doing anything else in Hayward Hamlet, in my opinion. I mean, could be nice on, on Trade League to run these two and those. Because maybe you don't need Essences, but Essences are so good. Either way, like, these these three, oh my god. It's, you can, you can make, like, basically temples where everything is level 3. Um, so easy to get corruption temples. It's just so good. Uh, and, and speaking of incursion, running incursion up here as well is extremely nice because of time dilation. But you do get a lot of incursion bases here, but then you actually have to get it from the temple. But getting uh, three per map is pretty nice as well. So I've been I've been running incursion in both. Um, I haven't bothered much with the Lexi Yoris. The other stuff I'm going to do here, I have taken Pathological. That is really, really nice. And I think Compulsive Hoarder would also be extremely nice here. But what I want is I want my next four points to be friend of the family. And then I'll be respecking. Uh, I'll be doing Kadiro sessions where I spam like a bunch of my um, Kadiro stuff and run that and hope to get like a headhunter or something nice. I have a bunch of coins. Uh, and the way it works is it'll take it'll um, it'll pick five choices and then uh, it'll choose the best one or most expensive one. So like either a headhunter or a mirror will always be chosen if that's there. Imagine if it was the choice between both and you get a mirror. That'd be sad. But either way, uh, Val Flash Merchant, that's like a loot goblin. It just drops some extra stuff. Doesn't seem to be that good. Lex Proxima, I'm not that excited about this region, but I will be using it for my Delve push. I've taken Heart of the Groove and Bountiful Harvest. And you have 11% chance for Harvest in this region. And uh, yeah, this will be really, really nice for pushing Delve. Here, I rushed Inside Job. And after that, only thing I've taken is Animal Companion. In, in and see in the actual video for all the things that I would like for for all five points what I'd be taking but I haven't cared that much about this region either Valdos rest uh, diplomatic escort escort is insanely dangerous but uh, very very worth doing you get a large amount of ancient orbs very good XP would definitely recommend on softcore um, test of loyalty is kind of nice I do betrayal in this region and then uh, outbreak is just I, I get more blight encounters which is nice new vestir is absolutely insane uh, for three points, because these these are insane. Uh, emblematic and uh, high value targets, they're both crazy. You just get so many rewards. I'm getting so many emblems. I have a, I just ran a four-way, and I'm going to run another one now. And uh, hopefully get a Glorious Vanity again. But yeah, really, really good. Testing out Votive Horde. I haven't had an Abyss spawn yet. But I'm basically just going to see if I can get any cool, like, Abyssal Socket item. Probably won't, but I figured I'd test it out, and I'll report back later. That is pretty much it. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Hope you guys are enjoying Ritual League. Sub if you like the content. Hope the videos help you. Try to die less than I do.